guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl T here with another video I'm not even gonna make this intro long just know that like we're gonna talk about where I was and where I've been I wanted to do a look for the LGBTQ community even though I did miss pride month but you know like we still here we celebrate this year round just like black history month is is year round okay so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this look hey guys so welcome back to my channel I'm so happy to be here it's been a long time coming listen don't be clocking me if everything's not perfect I'm still trying to get back into the flow of this it's been literally well over a month since I've done any type of makeup look so I'm just like listen this gotta happen and let's just let's just get into it okay first thing I'm gonna do as always is prime my eyes I love using this LA girl pro concealer so that we can get a nice blank canvas going because these veins and dark circles is wild and you know depending on how much or little sleep you've been getting you might need a lot you feel me so I'm gonna be using a color pop e9 brush and I'm trying to do and I've never done um, a rainbow look before but I missed all of pride month because your girl is going through it mentally like let's talk about it um how how is everyone doing during quarantine it has been it's not even just quarantine especially if you are a black person it's like quarantine plus the black lives matter movement um it's really a revolution happening right before our eyes and like i'm here for it for sure but it's draining to watch it's a lot to see and i don't want to just only be talking i want to do makeup too i'm trying to use as much black owned things that i have as possible and i'm still working on get rid of them problematic favorites that didn't do what they were supposed to be doing when we need them to do it okay but i'm going to be using two of the juvia's place palettes here um actually three but in terms of red i have a couple options in the wahala palette that just came out um which i did do one of my last makeup videos was a review on that we're really going to be using this fire color here i'm thinking that fire makes the most sense so i'm using this ColourPop e9 brush and you know we're always gonna do a cut crease here like you can you could be mad somewhere else but that's what I enjoy I like doing them and I love cutting my crease so we're gonna start to just pat this on and we're gonna do this in a rainbow fashion reds sometimes can always come out pink and we don't want that we want red so I'm gonna try to not touch this color as much as possible yeah but how has people been doing during this quarantine it's been intense to say the least um, you know, I think people thought this was going to be like a two-week thing, three-week thing, and <laughs> four months later, here we are. We're still pretty much in it. Pittsburgh just got re-shut down because people don't know how to not go to the bars. I'm just like, why are y'all in the bars? Why? Why are y'all in the bars? Y'all don't care about y'all safety? Is turning up that important? I don't... I don't know for me the self-isolation and things of that sort does not bother me um it's really been everything involving the black lives matter and things of that sort i think it's taking it's it's taken a toll on a lot of african americans um it's brought out a lot of ugliness in people we're seeing in real time over and over and over again black people getting shot and killed like animals and it's just our it's really a lot to take in it really it really takes a toll on you like i really just had to delete all of my social media for a bit because i'm like bro i actually you know have to be a functional mom at the end of the day and Whew. um so i'm gonna be using the uh zulu palette i'm gonna be using this orange and this yellow so going in with another color pop e9 brush i'm gonna go in with that orange if you guys hear baby noises and things of that sort don't be alarmed i have a lot of them also so much pressure so much pressure from people like you know oh you have a platform why aren't you speaking on this person and why aren't you speaking on this person why aren't you speaking on this it's like bro you don't know what i'm doing in my free time mind you i was also very vocal so it was just like what more do you, what more want, do you want from me, me at this point like i'm already donating i protested i did it all even with covid out here these things were very important to me and i think that i will eventually post those blogs and stuff of that sort but i haven't i haven't gotten to it yet um it's hard to watch it's hard to be a part of there's a lot of reasons why it's hard to watch it's hard to be a part of so some weird things going on here in pittsburgh and pittsburgh is just pittsburgh is racist to me pittsburgh has always been racist to me um it was something that i i 
understood and I seen very well on like how segregated things are here and um you know I even had a situation happen where my previous boss which hold on let me, I'm doing an IGTV video hold on where my previous boss you know got out of her being a racist and I'm just like y'all didn't know <laughs> like I don't know how they didn't know. I had a terrible, terrible time there. First of all, out of like all her employees, she's only had like three black employees. And that's just, that was just her, her little tokens to be like, I'm not racist. Um, but she didn't like people like me because girl, I'm me. She had a problem with me wearing my braids. She was discriminating and airing out my business about being pregnant before I even let anyone knew I was pregnant with the twins. Like when I tell you, when I tell y'all, it's a lot. Um, reporters and stuff was coming up to me trying to get me to um, spill my own tea. And I'm like, bro, when I want to spill that tea, I will spill that tea, but it's definitely not going to be on the news. You know what I mean? Because like sis got fully canceled. She had to, you know, make her stuff private. All of her employees quit on the same day. And I'm like, oh, now you guys <laughs> interesting, interesting concepts. I have so many things to say about all of that, but yeah, um, shorty, shorty been bugging and I'm happy that people are starting to see people for their true colors, you know? That's all I can say about that one. But it's a lot to have that happen to people, you know, messaging you and apologizing and everyone wants to educate and everyone wa everyone wants you to, they want to now apologize for being racist because they now remember all the times that they were racist to you. And it's just a lot to, to take in. So I just had to really delete my socials. And I think that the self-isolation is like kind of getting to people in general. So I've been kind of being there for people. And I, that's why I like really want to talk about mental health. I didn't want to start off with a super duper like hard look because we don't know if the girl still got it you know but I'm just like how are y'all really doing because I really feel like right now it's a lot of tipping points for a lot of people for a lot of reasons and you know not everyone is looking at things the same way that I am like I feel very blessed to be able to be working the few hours that I do work like completely from home now because like I don't have to leave my kids for any reasons and I personally just like being in the house you know that's just not the same case for everyone and a lot of people's worlds are like turned upside down and I just felt like it was very important to me to speak on these matters like we got to speak on them and we need to talk about them um what are you guys doing for healthy coping mechanisms I'm like y'all gotta give y'all liver a break all right it's it's getting intense out here and I'm, I'm noticing and I'm seeing and y'all need to quit okay I'm liking that it's cute we're good um because we're doing a cut crease and I want a lot of space for my other part of my eyes so yeah let's keep going I'm going to take um clean off the e9 brush the one I used for the fire like the red color since we don't need that anymore and let's hop into this yellow that I already showed and yellows are always you got to be careful with the yellows well at least for me and my skin tone like sometimes that uh, it it'd be looking funny you know I think it's very important to do healthy coping mechanisms for me um, you know one I took a break off of social media that was a healthy coping mechanism I knew that like I had too much emotionally happening and what I was taking in that like I was um, taking a break from filming like that's me taking care of myself and focusing on my children and things like that and I am a big advocate for having a therapist. I don't know why I don't be having a therapist unless your insurance does not cover it, which at this point you can also get things done through the state and like message me. I will get it done for you. Like you can see a therapist and it don't break your bank. You know what I mean? Because I think that it's so important. I be hitting my girl up like, I know we just talked, but can we talk tomorrow? Like what's your openings? I'll come on. I'll come at any time. And nowadays a lot of them you can do virtually you know, because of COVID. So it's so, it's, it's so useful. Like for me personally, like the Scorpio and me be very stressed about telling my business to people because people have to air your business. But it's like, I don't really trust, I don't really trust many. And the people I do trust, I'm like, I trust you, but like, I trust myself more. You know what I mean? So like having a therapist, that's someone who is like legally unable to air your business why would you not utilize that like tell them everything tell them your deepest darkest secrets like they really are not legally allowed to tell and this look is actually coming straight from my brain so if it's someone else's look sorry it could it could easily be someone else's look you know that happens all the time nowadays but 
Um, I don't think that I'm going to wing this out. I feel like I usually always wing this out. Am I lying right now? I be lying to y'all all the time. Am I about to wing this out? Yeah, I'm going to wing it out. <laughs> okay. Um, I did have some good things happen during this month as well while I was gone. Um, Lily's birthday passed, which I did vlog it. Guys, I have a lot of vlogs. I just have not posted because I'm like, I don't know. I have had a lot of anxiety for some reason with YouTube. And it's so sad for me because this is like my favorite platform. This is what I love to do. And I just got into my head that like, I don't know, I should not be posting and I just stopped, but we're working through it. So yeah, I am going to post those probably after this. I wanted to just get like a makeup look out before I put up a vlog. Cause I'm just like, I don't know if you guys even like those all like that. Let me know down below what you prefer makeup looks or vlogs. This look going to be all over the place. Just know that. Hugh, I'm loving her. She's loving her. We're all loving her. Let's keep going. The hardest thing for me is always doing the other eye, so. But fingers crossed, I don't know. I thought that it was gonna be harder for me to do makeup today, but for some reason, everything is going well. Like, I don't know. Something about taking some time off just does it for the mental, you feel me? All right, let me do this eye. It's looking, it's looking close enough to me, y'all. Um, you know, if I feel like it's super out the way, I'll, I'll fix it. So let's go ahead and do, I'm trying to think, should I do the glitter first? Should I do the glitter last? I'm thinking because glitter is always such a mess to me, I'm gonna do it now because it really be bothering me and I just, I don't like doing it. I don't like that. Next glitter primer. The old little brush that you have. These are literally from Walmart, like little paint brushes. And I'm literally just gonna go over all of this area. I'm using the Glitter Brilliant. It's literally a like rainbow iridescent glitter. And I'm just gonna pour some inside of the container. I do kind of want to do like a little stagger, like so it's not just a blunt line of glitter ending. But so far, so good. Okay, let me do my other eye, same exact way. I'm just gonna wipe the brush literally on my pants, <laughs> like I always do. And we're gonna use some more glitter primer and do the other eye. But yeah, like I was saying, now that you know I can talk now since all the hard stuff is done. Um, I just think that like mental health and things of that sort, like we're just not talking about it enough. And there's a lot going on, especially for us as black people. We have a lot that we, we take in and we internalize. Um, you know, there's still a lot to be had in terms of this like Black Lives Matter movement. I just feel like, you know, we're only at the beginning. Um, it's just like, I don't even know why it's taking all of this for us to not just to get treated like human beings, it's a lot, you know? Ugh, it stresses me out. I really hope you guys are doing good. I wanna let you know, like, I know I have a lot of new subscribers and thank you guys for subscribing, um, but what do you guys wanna see content-wise? What can I do to help? Do you want more story times? Do you want more makeup videos? You guys just let me know. I mean, I'm really a jack of all trades. I can do it all, okay? I got some DIY projects coming up. Um, I have, been doing some poor painting it's just like on canvases and stuff and that's been helping me with my anxiety and my stress um i recently started using my fire pit in the back so i've been doing that um you know now i have you know i'm gonna be filming a little bit more now for you guys and just being consistent because that's what y'all deserve yeah, it's really important that like you put the glitter like uh, the glitter glue wherever you want it because then you can like pack crazy and like nothing's gonna stick anywhere else you know wow i really thought that i was gonna have like a lot of fallout and stuff and i have like none what nyx is nyx out here changing the game and i was unaware i don't know but okay so that was the hard part for this makeup look and that was relatively easy let's keep going i personally am doing blue first i know it's not the same order as the rainbow but i didn't want purple or green 
right there. I don't know. I just personally don't like him. <laughs> um, but you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to work it through, but yeah, I'm going to actually be like putting it on the glitter so that it's blending M506 brush. One of my favorite, favorite blending brushes and it's clean. And we're just going to blend these two together. And I'm just going to help smooth in that, that rainbow glitter with the blue. And we just want zero harsh lines. Yeah, I really hope this comes out the way. I'm using like the smallest portion of green because really I just don't like the color green. I don't. I don't know why I don't like the color green. I've never liked it. People are like, oh, green looks good on you. And I'm like, I know you lying. It does not. I hate green. And it's here. I'm just placing the color here first and then I'm gonna actually blend it because this is gonna take a little bit of time, but not a ton, honestly. At the end of the day, they're both cool tones, so we are not pressed. Somehow these eyes are like different shapes. I don't know how I'm always doing that. I don't know. I just feel like with lashes and everything, we just don't, we're not gonna be pressed for it, you feel me? All right, I'm gonna go back in with that M506 brush, my favorite blending brush. We're just gonna blend out this green. I feel like at this point, y'all know what I'm doing, you know? I hope they're not expecting this look to be, you know, showing all the ta all the gifts and talents that I have because I have not put on any makeup, especially dramatic makeup, literally since the last video I posted. And yeah, I honestly have been living a very regular life. That's pretty well blended on that side and on this side, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's the shape that I wanted, but that's the shape that we do it. Oh no, I think I over wiped there. Ooh, wow. Now I will say that when I ordered this, I was trying to do a review on it and Sis and her shipping, they was playing. I will say a lot of these companies are using like COVID to just be like, we gonna, we gonna send it when we send it. Like, come on. In the meantime, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer and just clean up both these sides and get them right and tight the way we need it done for the girls. put on these lashes this is from my girl I'll put all of her information on the screen and down below all right so eyes are pretty much done we'll finish the rest at the end let's go ahead and jump into face as always i'm gonna be using my fenty yeah you know you know the drill i'm using a new foundation concealer i've had it before but i feel like it was just the wrong color so we're gonna see if this one's better Using my Morphe 439 brush, I'm just going to use, this is in the color, ooh, don't give me the lion, uh, Nairobi 410 I Am Magic Foundation. So let's see, I want to get like a cute little video for, that's cute enough, you know, um, let's do some dot, this is looking not that bad, I've, I've definitely worn worse. I feel like I can mix it with another color. Honestly, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Face for me is always so quick and easy, so I probably in the future will mix it with my other, but just to keep this strictly as many black products as we can, this is why we're here. Are the concealers. Oh, these colors aren't too bad. This might be a little bit too dark concealer-wise, but it's just a matter of blending out. Before, I did not like the, like, I like the foundation sticks. I hated the smell, and I cannot. Do not like the smell. But I hate the way it smells. I ain't like the smell. These ones smell good. They're good for me. Um, and they also blend out better. Like, they're literally concealers. The other ones are foundation sticks, you feel me? Ooh, I can already tell I'm gonna need to touch up that white just a little bit. Honestly, I've been using the Fenty bronzer, the cream bronzer. I realized it is just like a little bit cooler and it just works really well as a bronzer. So that's really what I've been using, like my go-to. But these blend out really well too, so I'm not mad about it. All right, to set all this, I'm gonna use my, uh, wow, my powder that is not up here. I'll be back. In the color, honey, it's really the goat for me. I was just eating some chips, y'all. <laughs> 
okay, so we're doing anything now. Apparently, and apparently anything happens right now. Wow. All right. I did not mean to use that much, but we we are here. Are we baking? <laughs> we might need to. Who knows? Using an angle brush and basically setting my contour while also getting getting orange. And before you say, and I know y'all like to say it, before you say I have on too much bronzer, ask yourself, like I always say, how can I be too bronze as a black woman? I can't. I can't. You made it up. You lied. It's like for me, I'd be going to town on the bronzer. I don't. I don't really care. I just feel like there's no such thing as too much and I enjoy it and my life has been different since I started bronzing so so I'm gonna dust off all of the makeup except for around my mouth area I just like to leave that there for as long as possible and in terms of anything that's like powdery I don't be super pressed because um, when I put my setting spray on it just it sets it all for me I just be like shoving it in there honestly Wow. Wow. I just forgot what it's like to beat your face. It's a good time. I'm hoping everyone's in good spirits. I have been in better spirits for sure. That's why, you know, I felt like today was the day that your girl can get it done for y'all because, you know, I've been feeling good. I'm going to go with the color. Yo, it's this one here. My, my palette is destroyed, but it's this top color here. Juvia's Place highlights. I don't know why I haven't really been contouring my nose these days, but I just haven't been. Go on lightly. Boom. Okay, for lip. Oh, I guess we gotta do my under eye. Oh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. I kind of like it plain. I like it plain. I'm gonna do black liner with white inside and leave it at that i just want the top of the eye to be boom and we we here all right like that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna go in with my mark jacobs you already know the drill and i'm gonna do the under portion of my eye and then i'll do my waterline and white see i don't know how y'all be putting things in the waterline it does nothing for me the only thing it does for me is make my eyes water i swear it's like if you can't beat them, join them. I can't get the glitter from underneath my eye over here. So I'm gonna just add a couple. Should we do a bright lip? Should we do a nude lip? What color lip should we do, guys? I wish that I could talk to y'all in real time. Like, do I need to do a live? I don't know. So I'm gonna be using this from ColourPop. I tried to do a hot pink lip and it was looking crazy. So I'm just gonna do a clear gloss with a dark lipstick this is the bff4 with makeup shayla who is a black woman so uh let's go ahead and do that my right, gloss bomb from fenty beauty okay guys so this is the final look i did add some extra little touches to it i ended up adding purple underneath my eye because it was just needing some extra you know what i mean i wanted to get a look out for all of the lgbtq community because i did miss all of pride month i just need a mental break guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make it to the end go ahead and put a rainbow emoji people who could actually like put the emoji down like y'all we're pretty much a secret society at this point like we're bffs to the end as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video